Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today, we have a wiring debugging video for the CRTK kit and Quav X7 Plus. The video is divided into three parts. What materials will be used? How to connect the wires? How to set parameters? What materials will be used? The materials include, Quav X7 Plus Power Module, MK15S dot bus wire, Telem 1 data transmission wire, URT1 and E2C wire and RFD900X data transmission wire. The main equipment consists of the Quav X7 Plus flight controller, CMK15 remote control, RFD900X telemetry, TATA battery, and Hexun EDU 450 frame. How to connect the wires? First, Install the Quav X7 Plus flight controller onto the frame. Connect the ESC signal wires to the PWM port on the Quav X7 Plus in an X pattern sequence. Then, connect the S. Bus port of the MK15 to the RCIN port of the X7 Plus. This wire is supplied with the MK15 and uses a GH1.25 3 pin connector for the MK15 and a DuPont 3 pin connector for the X7 Plus. Next, connect the data transmission port of the MK15 to the Telem 1 port of the X7 Plus. This wire is also supplied with the MK15 and uses a GH1.25 4-pin connector for the MK15 and a GH1.25 6-pin connector for the X7 Plus. The CRTK module has two antenna connectors, one for the main antenna and one for the secondary antenna. Connect the two feed lines to the CRTK module and install it onto the frame, with the main antenna on the right side of the front and the secondary antenna on the left side. Connect the URT1 and I2C port of the CRTK module to the GPS port of the X7 Plus. Use the URT1 and I2C cable for this connection. The interface of the RTK module is a GH1.25 6-pin connector, and the GPS interface of the X7 Plus is a GH1.25 10-pin connector.
Connect the RFD900X data transmission module to the UART4 port of the X7 Plus. The RFD900X connector is a DuPont 6-pin, and the UART4 port of the X7 Plus is a GH1.25 6-pin. After that, install the two antennas of the CRTK onto the bracket. Connect the power module to the battery, and use the power module to supply power to the flight controller and the distribution board, and then to the receiver of the MK-15. Once all the wires are connected, measure the distance between the two antennas along the Y-axis, as well as the distance from the main antenna to the flight controller. How to set parameters After completing the wiring, connect the flight controller to the computer using a USB cable and open the MP ground station to set parameters for the CRTK.
Upon entering the ground station, you'll notice that there's no GPS in the flight controller parameters. We need to set the following parameters. GPS type, 25. EK3 SRC1 YA, 3. GPS MB1 Type, 1 After writing this parameter, refresh the parameters before continuing to the next one. GPS MB10FS, 0.41 This is the measured distance between the two antennas. GPS POS1, 0.205 This is the distance from the main antenna to the flight controller. Once all parameters are set, Return to the flight interface to see that the flight controller has detected the CRTK module. Since you are indoors, the GPS status will show as not positioned. That's all for the debugging. Thank you for watching. For more information, stay tuned to the World Drone Market channel. See you in the next video.